Hi, this is Jimmy. I have been practicing my watercolors to choose some things for my pages this week. I did the perfect little cute bird. Isn't he cute? But I'm having a hard time doing him again. <laughs> See all my practice? It's so funny. It's like I get it perfect once and then I can't recreate it. But I'm not going to say can't. I'm going to try again. And I figured out how to do a very simple butterfly, which I'll show you. And some very simple tulips that look realistic. Not the leaves, just the tulip parts. Um, but anyway, I look forward to showing you some of the pages for this week and how I did them. Okay, so first that we're going to try to do this little bird again. He's so cute. So I'm going to show you how I did him. And hopefully he'll turn out well if he doesn't try them again. So I'm using my liquid watercolor paints. These are Dr. PH Martins which I usually use but you can use anything. You can use the dry cake paint, you can use tube watercolors or this kind of watercolors, anything you have. I just like to use what I have on hand. I got this set for Christmas. Okay so I'm going to just dip my um, paintbrush into the blue. This is a number one. All right, cross your fingers. Okay, so first, well actually, let me stop this and do the close up. So first, we do like almost like a round thing for the head, okay? And then the body, almost like half a circle. Then the back part. Okay, that looks like a pretty good shape to start with. I like the chicky look of it. I don't want to do a long slender bird. I want to do a little chubby cute bird. All right, so I'm going to put some more paint on my brush. If there's too much water on your brush, just dab it like that. I keep this in my hand usually when I paint. Okay, so I'm going to put a little paint here. It's like his design, his coloring, his feathers. Okay, a little more paint. Here. Now, I don't think there's really a bird that looks like this, but these are just fun art birds. I do, I am working on doing some realistic pictures of birds' um, paintings because I'm a bird photographer. Um, so I have lots of hundreds and hundreds of photos to go off of. Um, so I'm taking a course actually now on it. So I will share that tell you how that went. All right, now the wing. I found that it's important to keep the wing going up. If you do the wing down like this, that's what I was doing, it, it doesn't look right. So you have to keep the belly of the bird exposed. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's good or not. Let's see. Well, that's why it's fun practicing on these planner pages. You know, it's just practice and experimenting. Okay, now I'm dipping into a little bit of purple. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple on there. Maybe a little more water. If you have a little water on it, it'll, see it'll do that, like slide out naturally. A little bit of purple here, just a touch. The secret with watercolors is getting the exact right amount of water. All right, there's the body of the bird. Now I'm going to put his tail. I guess I'll do that in blue. Just a little thing stick it up. Okay, maybe I'll add a little purple to that. You just need very little paint. All right, so we'll let that dry. I'll use my blow dryer. Okay, now that it's dry, um, and I have to be sure it's completely dry because this will leak. This is a Micron 05 pen. Um, the 05 is misleading because it actually says 0.45 mm line. So anyway, that's what I use. Black, we'll put a little 
eye, a little teeny beak. Oh, this is coming out nicely. And then little feet. Oh, that's cute. I am happy with our little bird. Oh, it came out nice. I still like my first one better, but I'll just keep practicing. Maybe we'll do another one. I am going to use, do the paint and washi tape this time. I have got this cute washi tape uh, from Walmart last week. I think it's cute. It matches my little blue bird. Not really a blue bird, but my cartoon bird. I uh, am very picky about uh, my birds being realistic, and this one's not. So I just, the thing I'm picky about is, I don't like calling a bluebird just any bird that's blue. A bluebird has, you know, an orange chest and blue feathers. Where's my card? Oh, there it is. Um, you know, a blue jay is totally different than a bluebird. It's, you know, like crow size. But being a bird photographer and a studier of birds, um, I don't know, it just bothers me. But I'm going to hopefully get past that. Isn't this cute washi tape? We got cats trying to get in. Stop it, Molly. One cat is on one side of the glass door and the other cat's on the other side. And they're trying to get to each other. All right, oh, that's so cute. And then I'll do the lettering. All right, we'll do the lettering. Um, I already drew the lines. I forgot to turn the video on. I'm going to use these two colors. These are Le Pen's. One's kind of dark red and one's light red, but they match that rose. Okay, but first I will draw it in pencil. Okay, Monday. Hmm. I'm making it slant the other way slant the other way on purpose. I'm just trying to get a certain effect. Okay, that's cute. I probably should have made this. Okay. I'm not very good at doing these lines at the end. Mine just always seem to, I don't know, not look natural other people's and they look good. Anyway, that'll do. Okay, I'll use the darker one first. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay. Now I'm not gonna mess up the dates this week. Last week, I messed up every single day, except Monday. Okay, so this will be Monday the 22nd. So I'll put March 22nd down here. Okay, there we go. Just need to erase it. So there we have Monday, March 22nd. I love that little bird. I like him just there by himself. He's nice and simple. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>